Welcome Pisces and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a Twin Flame reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that would like to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid, so for you this actually could resonate past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, you should check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance for the collective. Two cards. Uh... Under the deck, we also have a sense of thinking. I like taking that as well. We have surrender to spirit, which says, Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. And then we have surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe. And answers and support will arrive. And then here we also have surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you bring clarity and even solve the problem. So I feel like there's a bit of resistance here. Um, like somebody who has felt, you know, in the past that, you know, potentially the obstacles couldn't be overcome, that was kind of thinking negatively uh, or fearing the worst when it comes to a specific connection. Um, that they felt with their Divine Feminine. So let's pull cards and see. Clear messages and guidance that needs to be known, seen, and understood. What is the energy here for the collective Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, we're going to start with the Divine Masculine energy at the top. So his thoughts about this connection and his Divine Feminine, his feelings toward the situation, his intentions, and actions for the divine feminine's energy we're going to look at her perspective here how she views her masculine her feelings can also represent her fears or desires what she feels needs to happen or hopes happens here and advice for her actions under the deck is the tower so you definitely could be dealing with a scorpio or somebody who has very strong scorpio in their chart but the tower is kind of like um, an unsettling or unexpected event. Something that you didn't have time to plan or prepare for. The tower is kind of like a situation, something that kind of comes up and really, you know, flips your world upside down. You know, there's a lot of chaos and conflict and <sighs> difficulty, challenge here that you weren't prepared for. So, let's see. Could have been an end date or separation for somebody. Let's see. So the Divine Masculine could see his Divine Feminine as a Gemini or Virgo. Uh, but the Magician can also represent Scorpio to some readers. But Magician is also, you know, somebody who has the ability to manifest and to create. You know, and take no offense to this. Uh, but I also feel like the Masculine does view his Feminine as somebody who has the ability to to really work him, you know, to pull at his heartstrings, who knows how to get to him, who knows how to get things out of him or push him or, you know, and not in a negative way. I feel like, you know, she's always able to get her way with him. You know, she wants something, she's able to get it out of him. You know, she wants him to open up, she's able to get it out of him. You know, he doesn't feel like talking, he's had a long day, she gets it out of him. You know, she's somebody who just has this way about her, you know. A, a good communicator or negotiator but the magician you know it also represents manifestation and creation so he does view her as somebody who you know has the ability to nurture anything she touches everything she does it, it she does it well you know she has many talents his feelings about her we have the knight of wands so there's I mean obviously passion there and attraction that's there but the knight of wands also talks about desire you know somebody who is very determined I feel that this masculine has been very back and forth very confusing with his desires affections intentions with the feminine um, he may also feel that he himself has been very in and out like um, giving her mixed signals that of wands can also represent there being a fire energy involved but there's obviously a lot of passion here. What are his intentions? I think he wants to be more honest with her. Knight of Swords. Again, air energy. A lot of people are involved. So some of you, there could be externally a lot of people somehow around this connection or situation. Um, 
but this is, you know, the honesty and truth and kind of being forthcoming and not holding back. Some actions. The lovers is Gemini energy and it indicates making a choice in love. So, you know, we see him viewing his feminine highly, you know, and I don't know why I get this energy of being reeled back in. Like she always just has this way of pulling at his heartstrings and reeling him back in towards her. Like when he tries to disconnect, you know, it's like he kind of keeps finding his way back to her. Like he wants to be more honest with her. Like he wants to be expressive and, and open his heart and his mind, you know, really wants to express himself with her. That's his hope. And with the lovers here, this is about making choices in love. You know, feeling this deep soul connection. And now we see them actually embracing, kissing here. Standing under the sun. Being out in the open. No secrets. Nothing being held back. Choices, decisions being made. That's his That's his actions. Coming towards the feminine. There's affection here and love. Um, but he also is, is aware that a choice needs to be made. I feel like, you know, he may not necessarily know what this connection is, but he definitely recognizes that there's something spiritual about it. He may not understand the differences between twin flames and kindred spirits and karmics and soulmates, but he does know that there is a soul connection between himself and his divine feminine. Her thoughts, how she views the connection. So the divine feminine and I'm referring to you as the Divine Feminine, whether you're physically male or female, okay? Feminine is an energy, okay? Um, she sees this connection as waiting. You know, this masculine has kept her waiting for a long time, and uh, she's been patiently waiting for things to progress and to bloom between the two of them. You know, she's given it her all here to this connection. You know, she has nurtured this, protected this, tried to see it through trying to teach and show her masculine, trying to help him awaken to this connection, to overcome these karmic challenges and obstacles that he currently faces. You know, she's trying to be very patient with him, but she still finds herself waiting for him to step up and make these choices, decisions. Her feelings, the high priestess. So Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, energy. Um, the high priestess is about secrets and mystery and, you know, wanting answers. You know, she may be receiving a lot of signs from spirit at this time in regards to this connection. She may be tapping into her intuition. There may have even been a spiritual awakening that she's experienced since connecting to her masculine. But this is about knowledge and truth, and she wants to understand more. She feels that her masculine is keeping secrets from her. She feels that this connection is hidden, that their relationship is not public, that there is something secretive about their relationship, and she's been trying to patiently wait, because again, I see them standing under the sun, which is about illumination, no secrets, you know, waiting for them to be public, intentions. The Emperor, she wants her masculine. No matter what, she wants to be with him, Aries energy. She sees her divine masculine as someone who is strong and capable provide, protect, pursue, you know, she wants him to take action, to recognize his power, to step into his role, take action towards her. She wants to be with him. She sees only him. She only has eyes for him. Her actions are advice for her actions, Seven of Cups. You know, there's going to be challenges here, as to be expected. But Spirit is saying there's a way, but what's really important here is the planning and preparation stages of this connection. This is one of those situations where you can't just snap your fingers, we're together. Something has to be achieved or done first. Something has to be worked through. All of the potential things that could go wrong have to be looked at. You know, this is about preparation. So let's see. Additional messages, guidance, and insight, please. What is going on in this twin flame connection, please? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, 
We have fifth dimension and union. We have forgiveness. We have fall. And the deck does show commitment. For some of you, I mean, it could be that this masculine has a decision to make between two people. And obviously that could create issues because he could already be in a formal commitment. Maybe that's why he's not able to offer commitment because he's already involved with someone. And that's what he's worried about, you know, because a divorce maybe has to take place or a separation. It may be an ugly process. It may not be easy. It may actually emotionally cause him distress to detach from a karmic partnership. It may be an emotional process for him that he has been hesitant or avoidant of making. Um, for others of you, he could have a fear of commitment. He could have a fear of taking things to the next level, you know, something that he has to work through. We have fifth dimension, union, forgiveness, and fall here. I do feel like this masculine is kind of starting to connect the dots. Again, he doesn't necessarily know what this connection is. You know, he doesn't have a specific name for it. He may not understand the differences, you know, to some of these connections, the names that they have. But he does recognize that there is a spiritual significance and a reason that he has been reeled back in or held on to this connection and unable to break free. There's a reason that his divine feminine affects him more than anyone has ever done in the past, you know, that she holds a special place. There's a reason that he feels so drawn to her, you know so connected now he's very aware that you know he needs to apologize and maybe ask her forgiveness for the past maybe for making her feel misled or confused uh, because he, he's very aware again he's been very back and forth with her the time of fall could be very relevant it could be somebody's birthday or anniversary it could be a significant date it could be a, a, a period for a union or a reunion for some of you uh, to look forward to, but Spirit is saying here to surrender to obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to Spirit. Doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem. And this particular card also reconfirms that where it says, once you've done everything in your power to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let Spirit work its magic for you. You've done all that you can do. Overthinking is not going to solve or open any doors. You know, let spirit have it. You know, you've done your work and things are aligning behind the scenes. Have faith and trust in that um, prayer. You know, you'll be heard of the universe. Whether you, you know, believe in God or higher power, your angels, ancestors, guides, prayer, meditation, um, you know, is a good way to kind of ask for signs and support from the universe, from God. You know, this is what I need. Give me confirmation that I'm on the right path angels, guides, ancestors, please show me the right way. How can I, you know, achieve this the most? You know, what can I do? You know, am I on the right path? You know, please send me signs. Show me synchronicity. Show me things that can bring me that confirmation. Ask for specific things. You know, a cardinal, a yellow butterfly, a, a blue scarf, whatever that is for you. A specific song to give you that confirmation that you're on the right path. Spirit is saying that the planning and preparation stage is very important. You could be seeing something coming together around the time of fall here for some of you. Okay? Some kind of big transformation or tower energy. So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.